But what we need to do is we need to analyze what do we need to multiply by to get rid of this cube root in the denominator. We just want something without a radical. Well, when you take the cube root of something, in order for it to be a perfect cube root, you need how many of them? You need three, right? So you can see right now we've got one. So what we really need is we really need two more of these x's. So I'm gonna multiply the numerator and the denominator by the cube root of x squared. So if I do that, what I can see now in the denominator is I have the cube root of x times x squared, which is x cubed, okay? And the cube and the cube root cancel one another out. So that just gives us x in the denominator. So now we've gotten rid of that radical in the denominator. So we're on the right track. But remember, whatever you do to the denominator, you wanna to do to the numerator, because this is really like multiplying by one. So now if we multiply, we just get three cube root of x squared all divided by x. Now you can't reduce these because one's underneath this radical here, one's just you know outside of the radical. That's as far as we can go. So that's example A. Okay, let's look at example B now. Here we have five divided by the fourth root of four x cubed. Now you see this four here? You can think of this as two squared. So four is really two squared, okay? And so now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of this radical in the denominator, right? But remember, in order to take a fourth root of something, you know, you're looking for groups of four of the same quantity, right? Here we've got two twos, we've got three x's. How many more of these do we need to make it a perfect fourth power or so that it works out you know, to a nice fourth root? Well, what we have to do is we have to look at what we're missing. We need actually two more twos, so that'll give us four twos, okay? And we also need one more x. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna multiply by. I'm gonna multiply the same thing, numerator and denominator, by that same quantity. Okay, so you're with me so far? So if we were to multiply across, what we're getting is, we're getting the fourth root of two squared times two squared is two to the fourth, x to the fourth, and the numerator we're getting five, fourth root of, let's see, two squared is four, x, and then here what you can see is, the fourth root and the fourth power, these are canceling one another out, they're inverses, so you get two, same thing with the x's, you get x, and the numerator we have five times the fourth root of four x, and you've got it. So the key is to make the denominator a perfect fourth root so that you can get rid of that radical in the denominator, but you wanna make sure you do the same thing top and bottom so it's like multiplying by one. Okay, last example, here we're dealing with the cube root. Now what I would do in a situation like this where this whole thing is underneath the cube root is I would try to reduce first. So what I mean by that is, see the eight and the 32? You can reduce that to one, fourth, right? One of these x's cancels with one of these x's, so that's just gonna be x, and then one of these y's cancels with one of these, leaving four left over in the denominator. So now what we're looking at is the cube root, and notice I'm splitting this up into cube root of the numerator divided by cube root of the denominator, so you can do that. And again, remember four is really like two squared. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look a little bit closer here. So it looks like we've got a group of three y's. Okay, there's actually four here. So if we simplify that, we get y, and the cube root of two squared with one y left over, right? So we made a group of three with one left over. And then over here, cube root of one is just one. So we just get the cube root of x in the numerator. Okay, but remember our goal is to get rid of that radical in the denominator. Okay, we wanna make sure we have groups of, or multiples of, of three since we're taking the cube root. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply by the cube root of, we need another two, and we also need two more y's. So whatever I do to the denominator, I'm gonna to do to the numerator, okay? And so look what happens, we've got, this is gonna give us two cubed, and the cube root of two cubed is just two. We've got y cubed, the cube root of y cubed is y, times this y gives us y squared. And then over here in the numerator, we've got, let's see, two uh, x y squared, and that's all underneath the cube root. And that's as far as we can go. So we've got rid of the radical in the denominator, and we simplified as much as we uh, possibly could, so that's our final answer. In all these examples, I was just assuming that the variables were positive, okay, so just make a note of that. Uh, these were, I considered that they were all positive, and uh, that's it. So I hope this helped you understand how to uh, work with some more challenging radical examples. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you soon.